Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Colorado with Denver Metro Audits as he attempts to track down an officer who uh, he has a beef with. And he makes accusations about the officer that are pretty much of a personal nature and none of his damn business. But hey, Chrissy boy is all pissy right now because, well, the officer just had to be a police officer and do his damn job. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey guys. So, got a tip here. Got a news tip. <clears throat> Never done anything like this before, so I thought I'd just go live because this is I gotta be safe here. Hopefully I can get this done before the starts dumping on me. But I got a tip. Start walking. <clears throat> that officer Paul Scadam, who is the uh, SRO for North Glen High School, found out that he's not actually the uh, SRO there anymore. He stopped working there about a month ago. So I'm not sure what happened. Uh, but I did a public records request on his stuff, his file. Sorry about the wind, guys. It's kind of, it's going to be a storm out here. So, <clears throat> uh, I missed him at school, but I do have his home address. That's where we're at. So, this guy has been having an affair on his wife. Oh, Christopher, isn't this going a bit too far? Isn't this a bit too personal? Digging up the officer's address and going to his home to make such an accusation against his character. But of course, that's just par for the course now. Just look what Direct D did a few weeks ago with that one officer exposing his address and name and everything like that for all the other frauditors to go to his house and cause trouble. Really pathetic, Chris. Really pathetic. With former city council member. And at the time of the affair, of the affair, she was the city council on the board of the city council member of North Glen, or city council of North Glen. So not only is he cheating on his wife, he's a scumbag, but he's cheating on his wife with another member of the same city government that he works for. So we're at his house, and I'm just gonna be live, and we're gonna see if he, you know, wants to have, if he has anything to say. To an independent citizen journalist here about this. I'm sure it'll probably kick me off out of his property, but that's fine. I'll just come over here to this public easement and record. Uh, okay, Chrissy boy. Uh, so you want to go to a man's house and make that kind of accusation to his face. Is it true or is it not true that he is having an affair? Or the simple fact is that if you go up to somebody's house and make that accusation when they have not done a damn thing wrong. If they have not done anything that you accuse them of, such as that affair, and the spouse is within earshot, well, you might have just created more trouble than you're willing to handle, Chrissy Boy, because if the spouse is indeed within earshot and they don't like what they hear from your mouth, well, you might just have more than one person on you. And there could be multiple outcomes to this scenario, which is why it's not something you should do. He tells me to leave, I'll leave. So we are live, just in case something happens, guys. And it is starting to rain out here, so. Do not knock or ring doorbell. Dogs are bark. Well, I have to ring the doorbell. So they're leaving packages, so. Hi there, are you Paul uh, Scadam? No. No, is he here? No. He's not here? He's not no. here today? Oh, okay. No. So you're not Paul? No. Okay, I'm just a member with independent media. Independent media, is that what they're calling you nowadays? I thought they called you an asshole. I mean, that's what I heard anyway. I mean, is it true or is it not true? 
Because inquiring minds really want to know if you are one or not, because it would take a true a-hole to go that far and try to uh, go to a person's house and expose them for something they may or may not be just based on a rumor. And I was wondering if uh, Paul wanted to have any type of conversation in regards to the affair that he was having with uh, Kim Snetzinger. No. I'm sorry, that's your wife. Nicole, Nicole Scadam. Oh, that's your wife. Yeah, Kim Snetzinger, the city council member. Negative. Negative? He doesn't He's want to have a conversation? here. He so. doesn't. All right, okay. Do you know when he'll be back? Can I come back another time? I have no idea. Okay. So you're not him, huh? No. Okay. Well, we'll see. All right, man. Have a good day. I'm just going to hang out on the sidewalk right here. Okay, guys. So that's obviously him. <laughs> so that's obviously him. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to have a conversation about the affair he's having with uh with Kim Snetzinger. Well, little Chrissy boy, are you sure you got the right address? Because I know that uh you have such pathetic research skills anyway, and your lot tends to have poor reading skills to begin with. Well, you might have just gotten the wrong address, son. It's understandable. So his name is Officer Paul Wayne uh, Scadam, and he was having an affair with City Council Member Kim Snetzinger. Uh, his wife doesn't know about it yet, but she's going to know about it pretty soon. So, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> do you guys see the look on his face trying to pretend like he's not that, he's not <laughs> Paul, he's not Officer Scadam? That's crazy, man. But yeah, man, he's a scumbag, dude. He's cheating on his own wife. Uh, poor guy reached out to me via on my Facebook, my Denver Metro Audit's Facebook page. So I got a new one launched. Go check it out, guys. It's in my About section. Like and follow. You can hit me up on Messenger in there. I try to respond to everyone. So, uh, But anyways, hit me up telling me about this guy. Send me the screenshots of the conversation, right? So again, somebody approached you on Facebook over this, and now you're going up about this all on that speculation on that one rumor on those supposed text messages and then going on to say that his wife is about to find out what are you the one who's going to tell the wife about this are you going to be the one to break up a marriage when there may not be anything wrong in that marriage all over something that somebody told you on facebook man you complain about all the damn scumbags in the world when that is a scumbag move right there, dude. You are the scumbag. You are the tyrant. You are the one causing the problems. And shame on you, Chrissy boy, for even thinking about doing this based on what you heard on Facebook. Because if there is definitely nothing wrong with that marriage at all, and there is no cheating in that relationship at all, then you... Interjecting yourself like that may just cause problems and eventually end that marriage, you freaking idiot. Um, we're walking back to the car. It's about to be a lightning storm over here. Uh, screenshots of the conversation with his ex-wife cheating on him with this guy, you know, saying all kinds of inappropriate stuff, how they can get away, we'll have more time so we can do all this crazy, you know, sexual stuff. And I felt bad for the guy, man. It's terrible to have to see that. See your cheating wife cheating on you with a cop. And, uh, not, I mean, so for one, to just sleep with another man's wife, it's bad enough. For two, to cheat on your own wife makes it even worse. For three, to do it with a city council member in the same city government in which you work for, which is a conflict of interest. And you know what? It's still none of your damn business what they do in their own private time, Chrissy boy. And what makes you the uh, hero of puritanical values anyway? If this affair is really happening, it will eventually come out on its own. It doesn't need your help to get out into the public's eye. Eventually, something will happen, if there's anything happening at all. So he doesn't work at the North Glen Police Department anymore. He quit working there about a month ago, I just found out. So I don't know if he got a new job somewhere else, but 
if you got a job with another department, we're definitely going to make sure that their department knows that he was having an affair with another city council member in the same city government. Uh, he's a scumbag, man. And you can tell in the look on his face that he was trying to act like he, that's not him. He's not here. <laughs> what other man just answers the door? <laughs> who is that guy then, man? His brother or who is it, man? Yeah, right. It's not him. So that's it. I mean, I don't know what else I can really do on the story. I'll keep you guys updated, though. I'm going to do the public records request. Uh, he's obviously not going to make comment on it, but we're going to make sure that his wife finds out about it. So I think we might just send him this. Uh, we might send her this uh, uh, live stream link so that she can know what a scumbag, piece of crap, uh, cheating husband she's married to. Uh, and she should probably divorce his ass. Well, now there you have it, folks. I mean, questions need to be answered on this one about why he would want to end a marriage that may have nothing wrong with it to begin with, based on a rumor that he saw on Facebook. I mean, there is just something deeply, deeply wrong with this asshat. And who knows, maybe he actually realized it later on because uh, not too long after it went up, he took it on down. But it is on the internet forever for posterity's sake. This guy tried to destroy a marriage and, well, he's nothing more than a vicious little scumbag who doesn't deserve anybody's respect whatsoever. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.